Before I fly, uh, I would like to answer the questions from people who are asking that how does the tilt mechanism works? Um, well, let me show it to you. Turn the radio on and turn your quadcopter on. Okay, so at this time, your quadcopter, once you turn it on, it's completely traditional. There is no tilting of rotors. What you need to do is flip two switches. Why two switches? I'm going to explain why two switches. This is kind of mixing. And then you have your rotor tilting activated. Okay? And rotors are tilted on your channel 2 or elevator channel that is going forward and backward. Alright? Uh, the tilting is actually achieved with uh, using a servo. It's a very high quality servo. It's one of the most expensive piece, actually speaking, the first one most expensive piece or component in this quadcopter because uh, we don't want to go with cheap servo they cannot bear the torque they cannot bear the pressure and abuse coming from the tilting mechanism because motors put a lot of pressure on on the servo so this is a metal gear digital 360 degree servo and i have put this servo to some abusive tests and this has proved a worthy servo that's why we are going with this servo motor mount one of the motor mount is broken the rest of my damage is uh, propellers broken I don't see any damage on the uh, quadcopter itself the frame itself Let me take the batteries off yep no damage on the frame uh, let me see I have the servo side Servo also seems to be okay actually. As I mentioned, servo is the most expensive part of this unit. So basically, my damage today is just one motor mount. I can easily replace it and get it back in the air. The servo is connected with two connecting rods, okay, and each connecting rod is connected to the arms, uh, a small metallic arm on these booms, and using those servo can tilt it. Now let me explain why two switches. When you turn the switches off, your quadcopter is completely traditional mode. You can do aerobatics or you can fly in traditional mode if you are not allowed to fly with tilt rotors. If you are asked in a certain FPV racing event that you cannot fly tilt rotor, you can turn it off easily. Um, why two switches? Let me explain it quickly. This is something to do with the basics. Okay, what happens with the traditional quadcopter? Um, let me describe the rules. When you want to go forward, when you push on the forward, on the elevator stick forward, the rear motor will power up, the front motors will power down, the quad will tilt, and then the flight controller will balance the motors and keep balancing every motors, keeping the uh, according to your uh, input, keeping the quadcopter tilted this way and quadcopter will fly forward okay the more you push on the elevator stick the more quadcopter will tilt forward and using the throttle you can control the speed of motors or increase the speed of motors to go faster and faster but when the quadcopter is tilting your cameras are looking down as i have described in previous video but you're getting a lot of speed so you have to tilt the cameras up now what happens when we tilt the rotors well it's very simple when the rotors are tilted your quadcopter is actually flying level or maybe tilting a little with a lot of angle uh, for the forward thrust on your motors on your rotors okay and all the tilting is achieved using the elevator channel okay let me power it on again all the tilted is achieved using your elevator channel now more you push the elevator channel forward more your rotors will tilt but at the same time your flight controller will power up the rear motors and power down the front motors because it's assuming 
it's a traditional quad because there's nothing especially in the flight controller for the tilt rotor so rotors are tilting and rear motors powering front mo motors are powering down so your quadcopter will actually dive down so what we need to do is we do another mixing using another channel to cancel the tilting effect by mixing elevator to elevator and putting in the negative values. I will explain how to do this mixing later in the set of videos, but right now I'm just describing the concept. So when you cancel that effect, what happens? When you push the stick forward, no matter, let's say you push the stick top 50%, your quadcopter is actually picking up speed due to rotor tilting, but the flight controller powering up the rear motor and powering down rear uh, front motor is that effect is cancelled a bit so that effect is not working too much and your quadcopter is not gonna tilt too much but your quadcopter will tilt a little while the motors will tilt more and your quadcopter will get a lot of speed I hope that I have explained it right but as we go for the um, setup videos for this quadcopter uh, using different radios this concept will get clear very very quickly alright so this is how the tilt rotors is working uh, later the build videos will show how you set it up so that's enough, let's fly it now.